case of obstruction of the course of justice where it is alleged that he misled police who were following the murderer of uh, more blessing Ali. So the High Court has said he did not obstruct any course of justice. The Marxist Court was wrong by convicting him. He is an innocent man regarding that particular charge and he, is therefore be, he has therefore been found not guilty. But on this particular charge, uh, Honorable Sikala was um, out on, on bail. So he remains in custody on account of uh, another matter which is coming before the Manchester Court on the 11th, the 12th and the 13th, which is a charge again related to, uh, to more blessing Ali, but this time it's a, a charge of obstruction of the course of justice. No wonder why I was confusing myself, there are so many of them. So it's coming from the 11th, like I said, 11th, the 12th and the 13th in the Manchester Court. We are continuing with the defense case. He said he's frustrated because effectively he has been in custody for a year and six months for absolutely nothing. And we have been saying this from day one that he did not commit an offense. We have been saying from day one that what he sought to do was to simply represent uh, the family of Mo Blessing Ali, who, is, who was murdered. So it's sad because, you know, you cannot rejoice or be happy with the outcome of today, you know, considering that he was not even supposed to be in jail or incarcerated in the first place. So obviously, well, at the, at the end, you know, it's, it's, it's better late than never. But we are obviously frustrated that, uh, you know, it had to be done this late, you know, after having spent one year, six months in custody.